and I thought to um, remind you guys about why what I did these previous months so I just did some calculations um, and when I decided or when Kim came up the, with the idea to do this and we decided to do this I was trying to think of a creative way to raise money and it was very very successful so successful that I'm gonna continue it now even after so what I decided is I did a charity workout every first Saturday of the month up until this walk um, I started it in April. We raised about 500 the first one, five and change the second, 600, one of them 950, one 955. Um, so basically, we raised close to $4,000, no, more than $4,000. Um, on my page, you could see that I donated, uh, that I raised about, like if you were to go to Susan G. Komen's page, you would see that I raised uh, a little over 3000 maybe 3500 And then I gave the other, I donated to Kim. So it was the same team. So um, one of the walks, I donated like over $1,000 to her. Um, but absolutely, absolutely phenomenal, and it did so well that I'm going to continue it. I actually have one coming up in um, October. I have two confirmed right now virtual clients that are in Maryland and in Arizona. Uh, Missouri? Maryland? Um, uh, no, Missouri? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. But um, uh, my client Katie and my client Georgia that are confirmed that are flying out here for a vacation to do my charity workout in October. Um, among all the people that have been doing it since April. Um, and then I'm doing it for my son's school, so uh, Va uh, Valley Bible uh, Daycare Preschool. And I actually have uh, their, the main woman that runs the whole program, Carmen, she's going to be doing it. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is to talk about the cause. So I just wanted to say that I did raise all that money, and it was absolutely phenomenal. And thank you all if you're watching this video and you're somebody who donated to me, whether it was donating and coming in for a workout, consistently one time or just donated and never was able to make it in um, uh, thank you very much for that um, but again you guys will see me in a couple minutes I'll be in San Francisco then I might do a little clip while I'm on the walk today and then at the end of the day Kim came up with a phenomenal idea uh, for us to do a hot tub so I brought my bathing suit and we might go sit in the hot tub tonight um, so I will talk to you later Okay, everyone, so it is like 5.15 in the morning. I'm at Shell Gas Station, and I just got gas, filled up my car, ow. Um, we're about to meet my client, Kim. We are the East Bay Rat Pack, and we are leaving now to go to our Susan G. Komen walk. So this morning, because um, it's the morning of the walk, obviously, this morning I posted a picture of my shirt. Um, so here it is. I'm going to explain it in two seconds. It's a little cold out. So basically what I did was my client, Georgia, um, who's in Arizona, she, I believe she did something kind of like this, um, but she wrote her family member, auntie, um, his name, Hope, um, on her shirt. And that, I thought that that was an incredible idea. So what I did was I asked Facebook if there's anybody that survived cancer or passed from cancer to Facebook me their name. Um, and I will honor them by wearing a shirt and writing everybody's name on it. I have close to 200 names on the back of this shirt. On the front of it, I put Hope since she came up with the idea. And then a couple of my family members um, that I lost or, or who are survivors. And um, my mother-in-law gave me somebody's name. Um, so basically, I am on my way right now to go pick up Kim. I'm going to take another quick little clip video of all the people. And it is... 20 miles a day for three days and we are staying in the city Woo! feet hurt already just thinking about it but I'm thinking it's a walk not so bad I run every day but we'll see so uh, thank you very much for watching this um, and I'll see you in the next video okay so I know it's a little dark but I just um, Thought I'm sitting in front of the studio and I'm waiting. You're say that again. No, that's that's say that again. Hey y'all! You're gonna be walking on the We're here. Look at that. Program. So 
Me and Miss Kimmy. Yay! I don't even know if we got our faces in there. Look, there she is. She's warming them up. AKA warming us up as I'm walking in late. All right, people. We'll be back. Quick check in. I have no idea how many miles we're in, but I'll see you soon. Okay, people, we are 8.7 miles in. Yeah. We'll see you in a little while. Okay, people, we're at 10 miles. Beautiful scenery. Porta potties in the back. All right, I'll let you see it. There it is. Look at how pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Halfway done. Bye. Okay, people. We are at the Golden Gate Bridge. We are about to walk over the bridge. I think we're at 15 miles right now, or by the end of it, we'll be at 15 miles because we just ate our pre-packed lunch. Uh, Kim had um, broccoli and chicken, and I had low-sodium turkey and oatmeal, and um, that was at 12 miles, and then they said there's another stop after the bridge, which is at 15 miles, so I'm assuming the bridge is three miles. So, peace. I'm just about at the ferry, taking a little chicken breast snack. I'm about to eat my oatmeal that's in there, can't really see it. We're at 18.7 miles, we're about to get on the ferry. And then we are going to walk another 1.3, fast math, 1.3 miles to go to the camping ground. And then since I am staying in a hotel, Kim and I, because of my Crohn's disease and my special needs and my own food, we're not actually camping. So we are going to take a shuttle back to my car. So we're going to take a little nap, nap, a little rest right now. I think I felt some chicken. Did I have some chicken the whole time I was talking? Uh, probably did, but it's okay. I'll smile this time. Like, okay, talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we just got off the ferry. We are done with our 18.7 miles. We technically, if we were staying and camping, we would have to walk another one point. You think I don't know you back there, you fool. We would have to walk another 1.3 miles to get to the camping ground, but we're not staying there. Remember, Jenna's medical condition, so I'm staying in a hotel. So we will make it up, I promise. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get up at like 4. I got to get up and do emails at 4 o'clock in the morning, and both of us will walk 1.3 or more miles to make up for what we missed today. So we're about to get in a taxi and go back to the hotel. I'll do a quick little video so you can see us chilling in the jacuzzi because both of us have busted hips, but we do it for cancer, baby. Okay, we are on the ferry now. Um, I don't think, I don't know if you can see it, but yep, we are. We're on the ferry. And then we have to get, just like I told you in the last video, we're exhausted. Then we have to walk another 1.3 miles to get to the camping ground, hop in a shuttle to go to the hotel, see you at the hotel.